hey guys welcome back to another video hope you guys are having a great morning so far um, this is your boy Jamrock it is now 221 in Miami same thing in New York London 621 a.m. Tokyo 322 p.m. Kingston Jamaica 122 a.m. and today in case you guys forgot is March 25th and it's a Monday all right guys so this morning I wanted to talk to you I want to talk to you guys about um, a news article surrounding gout now you know we do mukbang videos and you know the food is delicious just wanted to you know share with you about gout and for us not to really listen to the naysayers and for those who criticize but for us also to you know be aware and to have an idea of what this is all right so so in this article by US News it is entitled food and drinks to avoid or at least limit with gout right, let's dive in it says a common form of inflammatory arthritis gout affects more than 8 million Americans or about 4% of the US population more common in men than women so it's, it's found more common in men than women it's caused by a combination of genetic and environmental factors and while everything from a joint injury to major surgery can trigger gout what a person drinks and eats may also raise one's risk of developing the condition gout is caused by a condition called hyperuricemia characterized by too much uric acid in the body so hyperuricemia let's break it down hyper meaning a lot hyper meaning you know less so hyper and then the the uricemia the, the uric comes from uric acid and so you, you understand what that word means hyperuricemia characterized by too much uric acid in the body um, which is made in the breakdown of purines and purines are a colorless chemical compound found in the body and in foods and in foods <laughs> in foods and in foods so I just wanted to, to stop right there and to share with you more of what purines are and in case you're wondering I did extensive studies in, in biology and some other areas but still consult your doctor and I just saw the article and just wanted to share um, added to you know the content that I'm producing on the channel so let's let's go with the other article at least so we have protein in the body and then to maintain that protein that's in our human body now we consume other proteins from outside which comes in the form of you know plant-based protein or our meats that we eat and so what what this screen is showing us right here you see the where you see protein the once we consume that protein the body breaks it down into nuclear proteins and then nucleic acids and then purines right so purines is 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 a is a product or one of the lower billing blocks of protein we could say then and it is the purines that goes to form the uric acids once the body um, you know does the processing so once the protein breaks down you have purines and pyrimidines so you have the protein it breaks down into the amino acids the amino acids then breaks down into the 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 purines and the pyrimidines two purines are adenine and guanine and then pyrimidines are cytosine, thymine, and uracil. It's really not important to understand fully what these are, but when the article is referring to purines, I just wanted you guys to get a, a simple understanding of where purines are coming from. It's from the proteins that we eat. All right, let's read some of this article. It says, our digestive system breaks the food into molecules to ease the absor absorption thus the protein carbohydrates fats minerals etc are in the form of molecules before absorption during the process of protein metabolism uric acid is produced 
from purines and metabolism is just a funny way of saying it's a chemical reaction you have two types of metabolism you have anabolism you have catabolism anabolism is like a process where something is built up in the body catabolism is where something is broken down and both of them are both metabolism so it says during the process of protein metabolism uric acid is produced from purines and then it says the digestion goes as follows as i said before the proteins nuclear proteins which produce nucleotides and that's broken down to purines and then uric acid the end product uric acid is fil filtered by kidneys i'm drinking some water as i'm talking to you guys nestled pure life um so it is a bit dry so the end product of uric acid is filtered by kidneys um, in case you're wondering where your kidneys are it's on once you put both hands and and just above your hips to your sides that's where they are so sometimes increase increased production of uric acids or the inability of the kidneys to filter uric acid results in increased levels of uric acid in the blood and increased levels of uric acid causes go to flare up let's look at the foods foods that are rich in protein after metabolism leads to formation of uric acid these protein molecules are called purines which finally break down to form uric acid foods like organ meats such as liver seafoods like sardines anchovies mussels and salmon and lobster and everything can cause go to flare up. Plant proteins are not exceptions. Increased consumption of pulses, peas, soy, paneer, tofu can also cause go to flare up. So in essence, and you have to understand goat and let's, let's continue with this article right here because you're gonna see that what's happening with the uric acid as uric acid builds up so we eat the protein through the meat the meat breaks down to purines purines break down into uric acid the uric acid builds up into the body it's gonna form crystals this is where it says it it says when there's too much uric acid in the body uric acid crystals or monosodium urate can build up in the joints fluids and tissues center of the CDC and prevention notes excess uric acid in the body can cause gout attacks or flares which can last for days or weeks the class the classic case of gout is often in the big toe known as podagra podagra and it's a very painful episode where Often, it often hurts even just to have the bed sheet on the toe so once it flares up in the toe even when you pull the sheet over your toe it's, it's very sensitive when uric acid levels in the body are chronologically high it can lead to the development of hard deposits beneath the skin called tofu and kidney stones so <coughs> sorry guys Food is a bit dry so so far you can see we're we're a little bit about gold what causes it and then um, some of the foods to avoid when you have gold um, alcohol soda shellfish red meat organ organ meats like liver you want you want to reduce or reduce the amount of these items that you're taking in beer for example is high in purines and alcohol makes it hard for your kidneys to get rid of uric acid all right in terms of soda um, when you're surveying what you drink consider abstaining from the fizz too or at the very least switching to a diet soda sugar containing soft drinks even the sports drink that are high in sugar fruit juices like orange juice are not good for people with high uric acid levels so when you drink these or a large amount of these it 
it allows your body to take in a lot of sugar and then that's not good with um, high uric acid um, levels in the body and also be modest with the amount of meat that we consume you can still have a steak now and then um, don't go whole hog um, in terms of the amount that you eat and consider avoiding or limiting organ meats like liver if, if you know about liver most of the chemical processes that happen in the body for humans or animals it has to go through the liver so so when you eat that liver you're getting a lot of in essence nutrients as well from the liver as you eat um, so liver kidney and sweetbread they have a high very high purine content shellfish as well as some other seafood like sardines and scallops are very high in purines so it's always good to go in moderation all right so what are some of the things that you can eat which will make it less painful or better water well eat or drink water is very important and the article is telling us not to drink or to overhydrate because you don't want to have a case where you're rushing 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 to the bathroom but you need enough to for that digestion process to take place and for everything to be properly diluted in terms of complex carbohydrates you have simple sugars which are simple carbohydrates so to speak um, like glucose it enters rapidly in the blood you want to avoid a lot of that and a lot of sugar coming from the, the sodas and so on and so forth in terms of complex carbohydrates you can find these in veggies and most fruits and what what this does is complex carbohydrates they release the sugar very slowly in the body and on a, a kind of a schedule type in in bits in in kind of bits so to speak instead of the simple sugar which just rushes into the, the bloodstream so what they're saying is that um, especially if you already have goat and you're struggling um, these are some of the things that you could do low fats or non dairy and by the way guys I'm not a, a medical doctor so consult your physician for for advice when you're filling up on good stuff you might consider grabbing a glass of skim milk or low or non no fat yogurt as well consumption of skim milk is actually associated with having relatively low uric acid levels all right and then finally cherries there's some research that indicates that eating cherries or drinking cherry juice may lower uric acid levels and perhaps even decrease the chances of a flare right so these are some of the things that we can eat and can should limit or to watch out for so guys just recapping and i believe there's no cure for gout what happens with gout is as we consume protein in the body the protein in the body it comes in the body it's broken down to our amino acids or purines and then it is the purines that it's broken down further to create uric acid so what happens is that amount of uric acid in the body when it increases excuse me to a high level it's called hyperuricemia um, too much of that in the body it crystallizes in in the joints and then it creates you know pain which which is then called gout arthritis right and you know once that happens it can be very sensitive just by pulling a sheet over your toe it can be very very painful so some of the things to avoid alcohol um, or limit alcohol um, the sodas with, with all that sugar and of course some of the meats that are strong in purines like the sea seafood and some of the other things you know and items that that that, that are very good to constantly keeping our diet water complex carbohydrates which are like our vegetables and our fruits low fat um, dairy and cherries um, so guys that's a little tidbit on 
and what gout is and what causes gout um you know of course just remember the purines and think about what 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 food products you know contains purines in large contents if you are struggling with gout you really want to limit some of these um of course i'm not a medical doctor so please consult your your primary care physician for information in terms of advice health advice guys remember to like share and subscribe hit that like button guys you have to hit that like button um, it helps the channel um, there are mukbang videos that are on the way coming um, just adding some other content that I think would enhance overall the, the channel in the long run um, hope you guys have a great day today is Monday March 25th it is now what time is it 2 37 a.m in miami i'm your boy jam rock and i hope i see you in the next video remember to like share and subscribe walk good and i'll see you soon take care guys have a good day